now. We're probably gonna start with our harder dance of the night, True Inspiration. Back on the Texas thing, I actually um, have been working on another dance, so a little treat for you guys maybe next week. Um, it, I don't wanna say too much about it because I don't want anybody to steal it, but it is an uh, artist that's out of Houston and it's a song that's very um, appropriate for the time right now. So I think I should, I kind of have it for the most part done, so I'll tweak it a little bit. And we'll dance it next week, but it'll probably be about improver level. Anyway, um, the other thing I was gonna say is for those that were concerned, my dad went home from the hospital. Today he had had a heart attack on Sunday evening and rushed to the emergency room, 100% blockage. They put in two stents and he recovered miraculously. So he is back with my mom right now and they're recovering, but you know, I guess these things happen. It was really scary, but he's doing well. So thank you guys for all of the prayers and well wishes. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with True Inspiration. This is a two wall dance. 32 count, but it's a very high intermediate dance with the number of turns that you have into it. Very, very well choreographed. Love this dance when I learned it from Julia Wetzel. Yes, as the choreographer. Um, it, it has a tag. It is a 16 count tag that you end up doing three times. Every time you do the tag, it will be to the back wall. Yes, thanks, Sand thank you, Sandy, so much. Um, yes, I, if you didn't catch it, my dad is doing good. Yeah. Okay. He's doing great. He went home today. I don't know if you, you heard that, but anyway, so back on true inspiration, 32 count, two wall dance. We're going to go ahead and go through it all. I will give a couple options for turning or non-turning. There are some harder options and some easier options. Um, I will tend to teach it a little on the easier side if possible if that's even a thing, because um, just as far as this format and then our normal class, doesn't really like to do a ton of turns. So I'll stick with that, but you will get all of the information, yeah? Um, I guess that's about it, that's all I wanted to say, and so I'm gonna get going with it. So, the dance is gonna start off. You're gonna set back the weight on your right foot and you're gonna sweep behind, yeah? I want to make sure. We have two dances tonight, just let me say. Two dances tonight, True Inspiration and Mad Crazy Love. Both start with stepping on your right and both start with the sweep. So, yes, I was starting to go backwards and I want to make sure. So you're starting with your right foot. You're going to step forward and sweep that left foot to the front. You're doing basically a serpentine move here where you're going to sweep sweep and then weave, cross, side, and then as you step back on the left, sweep again, cross, side, and then you're gonna cross and do a spiral turn. But with the counts, you're gonna sweep on one, cross, two, and sweep three, cross, four, and. Yeah, so very familiar move for a lot of us. That's how it starts off. Again, one, two, and three, four, and. You're gonna cross over on five, and it is a full spiral turn over your left in a single count. Five, weight ends on your right. If you don't want to do that turn, you just simply step across. It really doesn't change a whole lot. So you would step five. Regardless if you step or turn, you come out of it here, you're gonna walk six and rock seven. You're rocking to the side on the left foot, seven, recover eight, you're stepping open to the back of all six o'clock, and one, you cross over, yeah? So from our serpentine, from the top, we're gonna go one, two, and three, four, spiral five, walk six, and rock seven, eight, and cross one. Yeah, a lot of information there. Again, so starting with your right, you're stepping one, two, and three, four, spiral, five, six, and rock, seven, eight, open, one. And you should be ending facing six o'clock. Yeah, let's see, I see some comments or people entering. 
Okay, hi, Myra. All right, from the top one more time. So that is our first eight. That's a quarter of the dance, but already we've turned to three different walls. So ready? One, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one. How are we doing? I hope, I hope we're doing good. Yeah? One more time. Again, this is a two-wall dance. I'm going to go ahead and dance it facing the other way. You choose which wall you'd like to do it to. This will just give you another viewpoint. Ready and one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and one. So key things, when you go into that spiral and you cross, when you come out of it, your weight is going to be on your right. So just cross and then turn, shifting your weight onto the right leg. If you don't spin, you're going to just step across and then come out of it with your left. When you do come out of it with your left, you are gonna rock with your left to that nine o'clock wall. You're gonna rock forward on the left, recover on the right, step out and open on a quarter, turn and cross over with your right over left. Yeah, one more time and we'll keep going. Ready and one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and one. The reason I've been stopping here, we're going to keep going. You're going to have another turn. This is, you're not doing the cross and the turn in a single count. You're crossing on one, you're turning on two, weight ends on your right again. So it's like the same, you're just taking an additional count. So when we face the front, we went five really quick, six and seven. When we turn around, eight and one, two, you're going to step forward on three, then go to this diagonal, four and five. Your weight should end on your right. Your weight should end, my mic's cutting in and out. I hope it's not like a loose wire. Your weight should end on your right and you're on the diagonal. Good? So again, you're facing the six o'clock. You cross one, turn two, three, walk, four and five. Okay, one more time. You're here on one, you're turning on two, stepping out on the left, three, then to your diagonal, four and five. I'm gonna keep going through this eight. You're gonna hitch with that left and turn squaring up. Actually, I think you turn kind of over your shoulder facing the nine o'clock wall. That happens on six, seven, you cross over. And then where, wherever your right shoulder is, that's the direction you'll be turning to open up to the next part. Now with no turn, you're gonna step open, step behind, cross over, step out on the left. That would be count one. We're gonna go into basic nightclubs here. So you'll be facing your three o'clock wall. Or you can add a full turn into it. I'm going to start from that spiral on one, you cross on one, unwind on two, step forward three, diagonal four and five, hitch on six, then cross seven and eight and one. Yeah, so that turn, again you hitch on six, step seven, and you're squared up to your six, eight, you took a half turn, and one, final is the quarter. And you're going over your left shoulder. I hope that's clear. I'm gonna go from the spiral. So this full eight count. We cross one, turn two, step three, walk four and five, hitch six, seven and eight and one. One time on eight count with no turn. One, two, three, four and five, six, Seven and eight and one. So you still do your hitch on six. You step down on seven facing your nine and you're at your six. You open just a quarter and you cross over, open on one. When I learned it initially, there were times in the dance that I felt like doing a full turn and there were times in the dance that I didn't feel like doing that full turn, I just did the half. So if, and Julia even put in here some recommendations. She recommends doing the half turn option on walls one, two, and six 
because the music just isn't as intense. It's a little quieter. So it doesn't really call for that big old spin unless you just feel like doing it. So let's take it from the top. Stepping forward on the right. So we're at half the dance right now. We're stepping one, two, and three, four, spiral, five, six, rock, seven, eight, cross, one, turn, two, walk, three, four, and five, pitch, six, seven, and eight, and one. That one stepping out is taking us into nightclubs. So we're going to step out on one, rock, two, and three, four, and. We're still here facing our three. We're going to turn a quarter to face our six o'clock with a sweep. Five, six, back on seven, eight, touch, and. You angle your body. My head's still, I'm aimed to that six o'clock wall, but I have my body twisted towards my nine because I'm getting ready to prep. Yeah, because I'm going to go into this big sweep next. So it was nightclubs, sweep going backwards, and then a prep. That's our whole next third eight count. So left nightclub, one, two, and three, four, quarter, sweep, sweep, back, touch, and. Yeah, one more time. More clear counts this time. Ready, and one, two, and three, four, sweeping five, six, seven, eight, and. Yeah, on that seven, you're not really sweeping. It just has two sweeps. So you're stepping back, back, touch. Yeah, I think you might want to be angled at kind of a diagonal, but I just have my body kind of cocked. I still have my attention towards the six because I'm getting ready to open back up there with the sweep. All right, so from the top, ready and one, two and three, four, spiral five, six, and seven, eight, cross one, turn two, walk three, diagonal four and five, pitch six, seven and eight, nightclub one, two and three, four, sweeping five, six, seven, eight, and. All right, how'd you do? I hope you did great. We're gonna do it one more time and then we'll add on the last eight count. Okay, good? You can always, too, these will be posted on YouTube, so this is too much of a fast teach for you on this dance. You can always replay it again on YouTube after class and pause it, you know? Go through, work on a little bit, pause it. All right, starting with the right. Ready, and one, two, and three, four, spiral, five, six, and seven, eight, and one, turn two, step three, walk, four, and five, pitch, six, seven, and eight, and knife the one, two, and three, four, sweep, five, six, seven, eight, and. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going, so, your attention, like I said, is to the six o'clock. Your body's kind of angled somewhere between the six and the nine. You're gonna sweep across, so stepping on the left, you're stepping and sweeping, cross, side. Uh, you're, you're kind of doing a little, uh, not fall away. Let's see if she calls it anything. Uh, basic, basic, step, cross, back. No, not really. Sweep, cross, back, side, cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure. Whenever I don't have the music and I'm not dancing it out, it does get a little muddled up. So, yeah, I'd rather teach it right and double check myself than teach it wrong, which does still happen. So we're here, eight and. You're gonna sweep one, two, and three. You're back to the nine. Cross, back, side, touch, and then you're gonna do a full turn, walk, walk. And you, you head into your six o'clock wall to restart. So you go turn, turn, walk, walk, one. So I'm gonna go through that with counts. Here we are right before we went eight and, you're gonna step sweep on one. Cross, back, side, cross, back, side, tap, seven, and eight, and one. Yeah, with counts, I know I said that, but 
<laughs> eight and, we're gonna step sweep one, two and three, four and five, six, seven and eight and one. Yeah? End of dance. All right, so I'm gonna back it up an eight count from those night clubs. We're gonna go open on the left. So we night club one, two, and three, four, sweeping five, six, seven, eight, sweep one, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and one. You're ready to go again. So, wall one, you dance it through, there's no changes, restarts, tags, nothing. Then, wall two, same thing, you dance it all, no changes, retags, res or restarts, I said retags, tags, restarts, nothing. Everything starts happening on wall three. You're gonna have a tag on three, five, and seven, and it's every time you face the six o'clock wall, you, or you in the wall facing six, you in the wall facing six besides the first wall. Okay, so let's go through it top to bottom. Um, just wall one, we'll just do wall one to music and I'm gonna play a slow track. Then we're gonna walk through wall two, okay? So wall one only. Ready and one, two and three, four spiral five, six and seven, eight cross one, through three, four and five, hitch six, seven and eight, night club one, two and three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two and three, four and five, tap six, seven and eight and one. Let's do that much with slow music. I'll have an option to tell you on that end turn as well, how to do it easier and how to do it actually harder. It's kind of crazy. Okay. This is slightly slowed down about 10%. So if you need to do the no turn for a while so you don't get lost, do it. 
Okay, so we are here. Night folks, one, two, and three. For a quarter turn, five, six, seven, eight, and. Now we're gonna do our cross, we're gonna do our sweep, cross, back, side, cross, back, side, prep. Then we're turning, seven, and eight, and one. Yeah? Okay. Wall two again. Let's go through it, no stopping. From the top. Ready and one, two and three, four, spiral five, six and seven, eight, cross one, two, three, four and five, six, seven and eight, nightclub one, two and three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one. Cross back side, cross back side, prep, turn, turn, walk, walk, start over. So if you notice, I eliminated a lot of turns that time. What you can do to eliminate turns, from the beginning, you have that early spiral on five. All you do is cross the right over five, six, and seven, eight, and this is the tricky one. You're crossing on one, since you don't have that turn on two, or since you're not turning in one count, you have to hold two. So you cross one, hold two. I kind of do a little bend, that way it's, it's something on that count. So one, two, three, four, and five, six. Then I'm doing my regular seven and eight and night club one, two, and three, four, sweeping five, six, seven, eight, and sweep. Cross back side, cross back side, prep. Instead of turn, turn, run, run, I'm gonna go run, 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 run. Run, 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 start again. So four walks, that's no counts. On that end, there are certain walls. Um, trying to think, she has them written down here. Walls two, four, six, eight, those even walls. You can add in a double turn there. So instead of going turn, turn, run, run, step and sweep, you would go step, prep, turn, 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 sweep. So then you come right out of a turn into that sweep and it is gorgeous. It's a great suggestion by Julia. All right, I love choreographers that give you a lot of options for different levels, but that we can all do the same dance and kind of add our own flair. Um, okay, I think we kind of know, oh, I've got to go over the, um, the tag, because we have a 16 count tag. Again, that is when you're facing the 6 o'clock. I'm going to do it facing the 12 and the 6, just so you can see all four parts of it. But I'll start off facing this way, because you're going to come out of that turn, turn, walk, walk. You're going to step right on one. Two, and as you rock forward on your left on two, you're gonna throw a ball up in the air. And you wanna look at where that ball is going. So two, rock back on three. You're gonna do a little vine or weave step, cross, side, forward, point. You're throwing it down, yeah? So the counts on that tag so far, one, two, rock, three, four, and five, point on six, then immediately you're gonna step on that right foot and sweep around. Seven, cross eight and one. Notice I put my toe back, that's on one. I'm gonna unwind, keeping my weight on my right for two. Two, then I'm stepping back, coaster step, walk forward on the left, then I'm gonna do two half pivots with my right. Right, pivot, right, pivot. The tag is a lot though. That was a lot, I got the tag when I first learned it and then a few times in open dancing, not really able to do it very well, but I had those arms. So I had that throw the ball to the, to the ground and then both going up and I just kind of did that and moved my feet around and then I started the dance again with everybody else. So, you know, just fake it till you make it. But you step right, left on two, recover three, Four and cross five, point six. Turn and sweep seven, 
eight, toe back on one, turn two, back three, right coaster, and five, six, pivot, seven, and eight, and. You can do a rocking chair on that seven and eight and, but that might throw you off on wall five because there's an additional rocking chair added onto the tag, which is not syncopated. So on that wall five, you would have your pivot seven and eight and you're gonna rock one, two, three, four. So if you do a rocking chair instead of those pivots, you would go seven and eight and one, two, three, four. Again, that only happens on wall five. Everything's really facing the other way. So let's do it the opposite direction. Ready and, sorry, right foot. Ready and one, toss, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Turn two, three, coaster four, and five, six, pivot, seven, and eight, start again. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, so three, five, and seven, facing the back wall. It is a great song. Once you get the dance, it's like, man, I want to dance this song every chance I get. So I'm going to play it to the slow music, and we can do it. And then, well, I don't know. I don't want to run short on time. It's really hot tonight. And we have Dip to the Bass, Mad Crazy Love, and Champagne Promise. So I'm going to play it full speed since we've practiced a wall anyway. And we're just gonna go for it, okay? Because I have confidence in you guys. Maybe a lot of you know it already, I don't know. But uh, let's do it. Oh, another thing I wanna add. I've been really alarmed lately by the number of people that have been kicked off of their live feeds because of music reasons. Um, it seems to be happening more and more, so I don't know if the number of times you do this kind of gives you little ticks and they, they notice you more. So if there's any case that I get kicked off while we're dancing a song, I will immediately go live again from my personal Facebook account, Britt Boresic. Um, I don't think that you have to be my friend to see it because I'll make the live feed public, but you should be able to you know, go to Britt Boresic's personal Facebook page and I'll go live from there. And instead of playing the music on my own account and getting kicked off again, we will go through the dance and I will kind of hum it and do the counts. Yeah, so I, I just want to give you all that heads up. Um, I'll talk more about it when we do Dip to the Bass because that's a specific song that I'm, I was worried about this happening. But hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully we'll get through the full song. All right, so this is You Say by Lauren Daigle. <laughs> Turn, step, walk, walk, step, hit, 